Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and today in this video we're going to talk about the Microsoft's new release on Office Suite with the support of Apple Silicon's M1 chip support for a long time like from the day Apple announced the new chip and now it is finally there guys it is pretty cool I already have office installed within my machine and if I go to my word you can see that it, it's open pretty faster like it just opens like how it opens uh, in my Intel based machines and it is not even slower by the way so if you go to the activity monitor this time and if you just see what is the architecture of the word which has been used it is actually an Intel architecture all these days. I mean, from the time I bought this Mac, it is Intel architecture. But now, Microsoft has officially started supporting or release an update for the existing Word or Office suite completely, where it supports the Apple M1 chip as well. So if you go to the App Store, and if you search for Office, and if you go to Microsoft Office this time, you can see that there is an update available. So if you go and see the update, it tells you that Office apps can now run on Apple Silicon support for Apple Silicon based Macs, which is pretty cool. So if I try to update this guy, it is going to update my Word or uh, the whole Office suite to the latest version. I think I need to update each and everything individually because it is not going to update everything together like one shot. But you can see that the downloading is pretty fast. I think the update is going to be like a small footprint to support this particular architecture. But I'm really excited to see how fast it is. But you saw the speed right now while I was opening the Office app. Like for the first time, during your machine start it looks a bit slower but next time if you open the same word it is going to be pretty faster so if i open it you can see that just booms it's pretty faster uh, but i'm just going to close this one and this is an intel architecture word uh, all these days but once the update is completed we can see how it looks like with the apple silicon based m1 chip support Alright, so as you can see the update is completed and now if I just go and hit open So this time the word is going to take a bit of time because uh, it is opening for the first time But now that uh, it is opened, I guess it's going to be pretty faster So if I just open you can see that the document opens is pretty faster um, which is cool and Let's see what is the architecture now it looks like so many of the apps are now supporting the Apple's M1 architecture. So it's really nice to see that a lot of a uh, lot of softwares which were not in support so far, uh, I mean less than a month now, is now starting to support all these uh, all these ARM-based processors, which is really cool. So now I can just go and open the Word once again, and you can see that it is really really faster, pretty much like how it opened with the Intel architecture as well. I think this way it is going to support or maybe also re reduce the number of foot print of the uh, Rosetta transition and also the battery drain will be less because it is supporting the native uh, native support of the Apple's architecture which is really really cool so that's it guys this is the uh, recent change and I'm gonna quickly go and update all the rest of the softwares for me and this way I could always be ahead of all those changes which is really cool so that's it so this is the latest update from uh, Microsoft and uh, the support for office to support running the office suite on a native m1 support very exciting catch you in our next one with the other updates and the installations of new softwares in macbook pro m1 once again thank you for watching this video and have a great day